Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads by a lot. Uh, the problem is, is it's going to happen so fast. So when you ask a person, imagine life in a decade from now, when we have strong general AI that's exponentially increasing and figuring out. The AI race is accelerating at a pace that even the experts who built it are now terrified of. And the latest person to sound the alarm, Steven Adler, a former open AI safety researcher who just left the company, publicly warning that AGI is a ticking time bomb, but he's not alone. Some of the world's top AI minds, including those who were once at the core of OpenAI's safety research, have walked away, claiming that the risks are being ignored in favor of speed and profit. So what's really happening inside OpenAI? Why are so many safety experts leaving? And is AGI actually as dangerous as these scientists claim? Let's break it all down. OpenAI's internal chaos. Steven Adler's resignation from OpenAI is part of a growing trend one that paints a troubling picture about the future of AI safety. Adler, who spent four years working as an AI safety lead, took to X to say that the race toward AGI is a very risky gamble, with huge downside. That alone is a strong statement. But what makes it even more concerning is the pattern of departures that OpenAI has seen in the last year. Adler is not the first, and he likely won't be the last. Just in 2023, Ilya Sutskever and Jan Lakey, two of OpenAI's top AI safety researchers, left the company. Sutskever was a co-founder of OpenAI and played a major role in the development of its most advanced AI models. Lake, who co-led OpenAI's super alignment team, publicly criticized OpenAI after quitting, saying that safety had taken a backseat to shiny products. And it doesn't stop there. Daniel Kokotajlo, another AI safety researcher, revealed that nearly half of OpenAI's AI risk team has now left. This raises serious concerns. If the very people tasked with ensuring AI remains safe don't believe in OpenAI's commitment to safety, what does that say about the risks we're facing? Steven Adler's terrifying warning about AGI. Adler's concerns go beyond just OpenAI. He's worried about the entire AI industry moving too fast without solving the critical issue of AI alignment. In his post, he stated, no lab has a solution to AI alignment today, and the faster we race, the less likely that anyone finds one in time. For context, AI alignment is one of the most pressing challenges in AI safety. It refers to the ability to ensure that AI systems operate in ways that are beneficial to humanity without unintended consequences. And as of now, there is no guaranteed way to keep an AGI, artificial general intelligence, under human control. That's what makes Adler's warning so alarming. He even admitted that he's pretty terrified by the current trajectory of AI development. And he's not just talking hypothetically, he's saying that this issue is affecting his own personal decisions about the future. He wrote, when I think about where I'll raise a future family or how much to save for retirement, I can't help but wonder, will humanity even make it to that point? That's a serious statement from someone who spent years working at one of the world's leading AI companies. And it raises a crucial question. If the experts who built these systems are this concerned, shouldn't we all be paying closer attention? The AGI race is spiraling out of control. One of the biggest reasons for this rapid acceleration, the global AI arms race, particularly between the US and China. Recently, reports emerged that a Chinese company called DeepSeek AI may have built an AI model on par with or even surpassing OpenAI's models at a fraction of the cost. This development sent shockwaves through the industry, causing US investors to panic and forcing companies like OpenAI, Google DeepMind, and Anthropic to respond. And how did Sam Altman, OpenAI's CEO, react? Instead of calling for caution, he immediately announced that OpenAI would move up the timeline of its next major AI releases. He even called DeepSeek's breakthrough invigorating. But this is exactly what Adler and other AI safety researchers are warning about. When one company pushes forward aggressively, it forces others to do the same. If OpenAI slows down, its competitors could overtake them. That's why we're now seeing AI labs accelerating development at the fastest pace in history without having solved any of the critical safety challenges. This is what researchers like Stuart Russell a professor at UC Berkeley 
have called a race to the edge of a cliff. Russell has repeatedly warned that if AI labs don't slow down, we could reach a point where AGI surpasses human intelligence before we know how to control it. And here's where things get even more concerning. Even some of the CEOs driving this race have admitted that whoever wins the AGI race could also trigger human extinction. If the very people leading these AI labs believe there's a real chance AGI could go horribly wrong, then why isn't there more public discussion about slowing things down? OpenAI's safety team is falling apart. The departure of Adler, Leak, Sutskever, and others has left OpenAI in a difficult position when it comes to AI safety. OpenAI's super alignment team, the group that was specifically focused on making sure AGI remains under control, has been severely weakened. And here's the most concerning part. OpenAI had already dedicated only 20% of its compute resources to safety research. That number is even smaller now with so many safety experts leaving. Meanwhile, OpenAI continues to push forward with bigger and more powerful models without addressing the concerns raised by its former safety researchers. This all comes after Sam Altman's temporary removal as OpenAI's CEO in 2023, a move that many believe was at least partially linked to disagreements over AI safety. While Altman was reinstated just five days later after pressure from employees and investors, the questions surrounding why he was removed in the first place have never been fully answered. And since his return, OpenAI has been moving even faster toward AGI, despite growing concerns from its own former employees. The big question now is, what happens next? Suppose OpenAI and other leading AI labs continue to race ahead without a working solution for AI alignment. Are we heading toward a future where AGI is no longer under human control? That's exactly what Steven Adler, Jan Like, and so many other former AI safety researchers are warning about. And based on their concerns, this isn't just a hypothetical risk, it's a problem that's playing out in real time. The AI race isn't slowing down, and the stakes, they couldn't be higher. Sam Altman's power struggles and AGI ambitions. To fully understand what's happening at OpenAI today, we need to go back to November 2023, when OpenAI's leadership was thrown into complete chaos. In a move that shocked the entire tech world, Sam Altman was abruptly fired as OpenAI's CEO. The decision was made by OpenAI's board, which at the time included key figures like Ilya Sutskever, the company's co-founder and chief scientist. No clear explanation was given at first, but as details emerge, reports suggested that concerns over AI safety and Altman's aggressive push toward AGI played a major role. For five days, OpenAI was in crisis mode. Hundreds of employees threatened to quit, the investors like Microsoft put pressure on the board, and OpenAI's future seemed uncertain. Then just as suddenly as he was removed, Altman was reinstated. The board was reshuffled, and within days it became clear that Altman had emerged even more powerful than before. But instead of taking a more cautious approach, Altman doubled down on his AGI ambitions. In interviews, he's repeatedly said that his goal is not just AGI, but AGI and beyond. He's made it clear that OpenAI will continue pushing forward regardless of the risks, because he believes that AGI is inevitable. The question is, at what cost? Since his return, OpenAI has moved faster than ever. In March 2024, the company launched its GPT-4 Turbo model, promising even greater advancements. And with competition from DeepSeek AI in China, OpenAI has accelerated its timelines even further. But what happens if this race goes too far? If AI safety is already being deprioritized and the people raising red flags are leaving the company, who's actually making sure these AI systems remain under human control? And more importantly, what happens if no one can? Is AGI a ticking time bomb? At this point, even top AI researchers are starting to sound the alarm louder than ever. Steven Adler's warning wasn't just about open AI. It was about the entire AI industry moving too fast without solving alignment. And that's where things get dangerous. Right now, no AI lab has solved the alignment problem. No one has figured out how to ensure that AGI will always act in alignment with human values and goals. And yet, the AGI race is forcing every company to move faster, not slower. Adler put it bluntly, even if a lab truly wants to develop AGI responsibly, Others can still cut corners to catch up, maybe disastrously, and this pushes all to speed up. In other words, this isn't just an open AI problem. 
It's an industry-wide arms race. And as long as one company is pushing forward at breakneck speed, the rest will be forced to keep up. But what if keeping up means rushing past critical safety measures? That's exactly what Stuart Russell warned about. He called the AGI race a race towards the edge of a cliff. Because once AI surpasses human intelligence, we may no longer be in control. And the scariest part? Even the CEOs leading this race acknowledge the risks. Tech leaders have openly stated that the company that wins the AGI race has a significant probability of triggering human extinction. Let that sink in. The very people building these systems know the risks, and they're still moving forward. So the real question is, why? If the scientists who worked at OpenAI are this concerned, if some of the world's top AI researchers believe AGI could spiral out of control, if even the leaders of AI companies admit they don't know how to keep AGI in check, then why are we still racing forward at full speed? Because at this point, the warnings aren't coming from conspiracy theorists or sci-fi writers. They're coming from the people who built these AI systems in the first place. And if they don't feel safe, should we? If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.